Utah authorities used the suspect's cell phone records to find the body of a missing college student I. Authorities finally found the body of missing University of Utah student Mackenzie Lueck after cell phone records from her suspected murderer placed his phone at a canyon 80 miles north of Salt Lake City, prosecutors announced Wednesday. Investigators uncovered Lueck's body on July 3, some 16 days after she took a LYFT from the local airport to a city park and vanished. Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill told reporters at a press conference that an extensive search of Lueck and her suspected murderer's cell phone records helped them piece the puzzle together. Prosecutors formally charged 31-year-old Iowala AJE on Wednesday with aggravated murder, aggravated kidnapping, desecration of a human body, and obstruction of justice. Gill said the records show that both Luak and AJE's cell phones were at Hatch Park at 2.59 a.m. on June 17, and Luak's phone was immediately powered off. It was never turned by 3.7 a.m., AJE's cell phone was back at his home, the same location where neighbors would detect a horrible. When authorities searched AJE's home on June 26, they said they found a fire pit containing human bones, charred muscular tissue, part of a scalp with hair, a cell phone, and other chart. Gill said investigators also found charred black fabric, buckles, and other items in an alleyway adjacent to AJE's home. But the final piece of evidence that led investigators said led them to the rest of Lewick's body were the records that showed AJE's cell phone near Logan Canyon, some 80 miles north of Salt Lake City, on June 25, between 2.30 and 4.30 p.m. When detectives trekked to Logan Canyon to investigate, they eventually found a disturbed under Read more Gill went on to describe authorities' gruesome discovery. Lueck's arms had, the medical examiner who performed the autopsy found that Lueck died after suffering blunt force trauma to the left side of her head, Gill said. Gill added that the investigation is still ongoing. That police were back. the capital murder charge against AJE could possibly yield the death penalty if he is convicted, but Gill said at the press conference that it's too early to tell whether his office will seek such a sentence.